Not bad. There we go. What's up, peeps? Yes, I promised I'd be doing this today. If you got my tweet, I said I postponed it until Sunday. Um, I was gonna do this on Friday. I just wasn't up to it. I had a shit week, really, really bad week. And I just wasn't feeling up to it. So I postponed it until Sunday, today. And uh, as you know by the, as you know by the, uh, what I call it, the title, this is the last show before Feel the Heat, which is this Wednesday, so, I cannot wait for this Wednesday, I really can't, but as you know ladies and gentlemen, we see here, kick off with me and Pennywise today, Bane's got something to say, Local one on one with OJJ, Omega wanted a match last episode. He wanted to run his mouth and everything and uh, basically made an open challenge, so I gave him Prince Jindrak. Rachel Adams calling out somebody. I have an idea who that could be because I believe she's not happy with a certain somebody. A six-man tag involving Bane. It was Bane teaming up with Fallen Wasteland, Sinister Winters and Fang to take on the Gladiators and Jade. First Blood, Henry the Viking, Jack Hammer, one-on-one. -on -one. The winner gets Hannibal at the pay-per-view in a hardcore match for the hardcore title. Colleen Masters, one-on-one -on -one with Sharon Storm. This is just a warm-up for Colleen for Sunday, for uh, Wednesday because she will defend her women's title in a Hell in the Cell match. And yes, because I say so, Jimmy Havoc, one-on-one -on -one with... Otter, with Otter rather in a hardcore rules match why because I say so whether them two like it or not they're going to beat the hell out of each other <coughs> so to hell we're wasting time let's get right into it episode 19 is here Excuse the yawning, my name is Anthony Walker, this is GMW, episode 19, the last one before Feel the Heat, which takes place this Wednesday, January 23rd. Jimmy Havoc, one-on-one -on -one with Vota, me one-on-one -on -one with Pennywise, let's do this. Right, let's see what happens. Vota, uh, later on with Havoc, 
in the main event. But it's me and Pennywise. Now, Pennywise has a huge problem with me. He blames me for losing twice to Baron Blade. So I gave him an opportunity of the day. Um, I'm going to make a match for for Sunday, for uh, Wednesday as well. It's going to be me and Jimmy Havoc in a tables match at the pay-per-view. So let's have a look. Just, do, 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 do. There we go. So it'll be me and Jimmy one-on-one -on -one at the pay-per-view. Versus Jimmy Havoc tables. Oops. Match. Just like what I did to uh, Wade Walker when I long darted him through the fucking uh, through the table, head first. Ah, excuse me. Very tired, ladies and gentlemen. Right. Me and Pennywise. One on one. Here we go. I'm going to kick this off. GMW this week. With this match. Me and Pennywise, one on one. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Don't forget, guys, this Making is the last the ring, episode. From the fifth dimension. The last show before the pay per view. Pounds, the Jester, Kenny Y. Pennywise. Really does blame me for his downfalls. Blame me for losing twice to Baron Blade. You know, former money in the bank winner. Only to lose it. He lost that too. The guy just seems to blame a lot of people for his downfalls. He blames Baron, he blames me. The whole thing just makes no sense. Maybe he needs to take one look in the mirror. Here comes the boss. He'll be praying for a new World Heavyweight Champion. Yes, I am praying for and a new World Heavyweight opponent, Champion this Wednesday. From England, weighing in at 260 pounds, the superstar, Anthony Walker. Wolfpack Mafia. Now, hopefully, the head will be looking for a victory in this match. Teach Pennywise a little bit of respect. I've been a fighting GM. I've been a fighting boss recently. I promised myself I wouldn't fight. But the you know, not make this about me, or to try not to make this about me. But, uh, yeah. What it is is what it is, ladies and gents. Pennywise and me, let's do it. Go to the midsection by Pennywise. Counter by me. Blows line ducks, Pennywise knee to the gut. A single leg drop kick, rocking me. A super kick. Which hits into a straight jacket German suplex. A smack of that super kick. Pennywise. Sean out for the tackle. Right back in there. 
Clothesline, nope, spin kick into the gut. Over the round, all the way. Well, DDT. Beautiful. Yo, what up, Fang? Oh, and knee to the gut. White Fang, White Seven Fang Gaming. So, I got that long way around for some reason. Fallen Wasteland will be in action later on today, ladies and gentlemen, in a six man tag. There's Fang, Sinister Winters, and Bane to take on Jay Adair and the Gladiators in a six man tag. And the Havocs come out, but... What the... Havoc Rainmaker! What is this guy's problem? Havoc came out and attacked Pennywise. Maybe he wants to keep me fresh for, some, for a Wednesday, I don't know. What the... Unbelievable. Maybe one, I, I don't know. Maybe he wants to keep me fresh for, for Wednesday. I don't say. I, I mean, don't get me wrong. I love me some Jimmy Havoc, but I always said he was a lunatic. Springboard moonsault then by yours truly. Springboard tap rope moonsault. Might have. Knee, no, count it. Line forearm and the million dollar fist drop. Made famous by the million dollar man. Two. There's them elbows. The chin. What the hell is that? Well, Pennywise with the mind games. Yeah, I'm ready. It's out this uh, it's out this week. The new Rise, Rising Star DLC pack is out this week, ladies and gentlemen. Tuesday, January 22nd. Very much looking forward to that. One, two. The mind games don't work with me, Pennywise, you mug. You mug. Pennywise now setting up. And the Selena Del Sol into the cover. Very confusing. I, mean, I don't know what Jimmy Havoc's problem is coming out kick uh, Rainmaker and Pennywise, but maybe he wants to keep me at 100% for uh, Wednesday. I don't know. But it's me and Pennywise. It's me and Jimmy Havoc one on one in, the, in a tables match. Maybe he wants no excuses. This we'll find out. Double AA. One, two, and three. And I beat Pennywise. So, like I said, I don't know. I mean, I, I never said he was the sharpest knife for the draw, Jimmy Havoc. I love me some Jimmy Havoc, don't get me wrong, but I never said he was the sharpest knife. Look at this. Close line, Rainmaker. GG indeed. But I beat the clown. Which I'm very happy with. Perfect way for me to kick off this episode of GMW. Still to come, ladies and gentlemen, like I say. Fang and since the winners team up with Bane in a six man tag to face the Gladiators and Jay Adair. Local goes one on one with OJJ as well. That's coming up. And Vorta meets Jimmy Hammond in the main winner. event. Okay, and JoJo's still on drugs. Terrific. I, for a minute, I thought she was calling me the hardcore icon. Okay. But in any event, a big win for the boss. And hopefully, and he'll be hoping this Wednesday, this Wednesday on Twitch, 
there'll be a new World Heavyweight Champion. But we must move on. Show must go on, ladies and gentlemen. Show must go on. And here he is, Bane. He's got something to say. And I know what it's about. Probably him wanting an opportunity again. He hasn't had an opportunity for a while in GMW. He's been lost in the shovel. But uh, he's going to get his opportunity later on because he's in a six-man tag with the Fallen Wasteland to take on the Gladiators and Jay Day. So... We'll see how that pans out later on in the six-man tag. Coming up next, though, Loco takes on Vota. Loco takes on OJJ. That's what I meant to say. Vota meets Jimmy Havoc in the main event. Colleen Masters takes on Sharon Storm. Rachel Adams is calling somebody out. I know who that is. It's probably Beverly Sexton because rumor has it she's unhappy with her for what happened last episode as well. A lot more to come. Also, Jack Hammer and Henry the Viking go one on one in the first blood match as well. And the winner of that match gets Hannibal for the hardcore title at Feel the Heat. In what match, I don't know, but it'll be for the hardcore championship. A few weeks, and then you know what this is about. A lot of guys, the kings of the locker room. Spend all their time going around telling everyone how they've how they got what it takes to run the show. In, in GMW, no, I run the show in GMW Bay. People mouse about me. Well, that crap stops right now. Okay. I'm a competitor. What I do best is compete. This is how becoming a champion in GMW. So I'm letting the locker room know just to face me. I'm right here. Hmm. If I can set something up for you at the pay per view. Actually, I might do so. I might have something for you at the pay per view. You want to be a champion? I got something for you. I'll let you know, June. I'll let you know later on. Yeah, I like the idea of what I've got in my mind. You want to match the pay per view? You want to be a champion here in GMW? Okay. Okay. I got you. Yeah. You better pack a lunch indeed. Because he's going to have a long night, I tell you right now. If I decide to go through with this match for uh, Feel the Heat, which is coming up this Wednesday, people, if I decide to book him on the show, I know whose opponent will be, and he might want to bring a pack lunch. Yeah, I'll think about it. See how, the, see how the guy's match turns out later on in the show. He wants to be, yeah. He'll be joining for the six-man tag later. Yeah. He'll be back later on, Bane, that is, for the six-man tag. Which would be him, the Gladiators, him and uh, Fallen Wasteland to take on the Gladiators and Jay Adair. If you don't believe me, this is what to come. Coming up next... Loco and OJJ. Omega ran his mouth off last episode looking for a match. Well, he's got one. Open challenge. I booked him against Prince Jindrak. The rebirth Prince Jindrak, apparently, because last time Jindrak was involved in a match on GMW, he ended the streak of Vata. But he, too bad he couldn't end his uh, title reign, but anyway... Rachel Adams calling somebody out as well. Like I say, I know who that is. Don't take a genius to work that out. It's probably Beverly Sexton. There it is. Six-man tag still to come as well. Jardin and the Gladiators take on Fallen Wasteland and Bane. 
And that match is basically built around the Gladiators and Fallen Wasteland because the Gladiators will defend their tag team championships later on this week at Feel the Heat against the Fallen Wasteland. Will the Fallen Wasteland become GMW World Tag Team Champions? We shall see. First blood match, Henry the Viking takes on Jack Hammer. The winner gets Hannibal at the pay-per-view. Colleen Masters 101 with Sharon Storm. And there is your main event of the evening, Jimmy Havoc and Vota 101 as well. So let's go. Let's see what this match is all about. Just making sure everything is crystal clear. Yay. So let's see what this match, what happens in this match. If you want a preview for the show, Nope, it's the pay-per-view. It's a pay-per-view this uh, this coming Wednesday. Feel the Heat is a pay-per-view. It's the next GMW pay-per-view in the 2K19 era. And it will take place this Wednesday on Twitch. So it'll be about round about it'll be round about this time. Well, well the time I started this, it'll be about seven o'clock. It's now seven o'clock. Just after 7 o'clock UK time, it's about 20 past 7 UK time, or going on 25 past. So, this Wednesday, guys. Can't stress it enough, guys. Feel the Heat. The next GMW pay-per-view after Feel the Heat will be Highway to Hell. And that will be taking place right after Feel the Heat as well. That will be the next GMW pay-per-view. PM. It's now, to, uh, as we know right now, it's now 25 past 7 uh, p.m. Uh, so, oh, I can't imagine what that is in America. That'll probably be, it's probably the afternoon in America. Well, early afternoon. So, yeah. It's been going about 22 minutes at the max, 22 minutes max. Uh, cheers, local, for the uh, host as well, by the way. Didn't see that. Anyway, speaking of local, here he is. Yeah. Making his way to the ring. Well, I started this at uh, just 22 minutes ago, so about five, about five past seven. Pounds, Town. Local Joe. Loco Joe, former heavyweight champion of the world. This is a very unique matchup, to be honest with you, because it's the former world heavyweight champion. Taking on the former internet television champion, one on one. Local Joe, one on one with, yes, you guessed it, OJJ. Member of the Fallen Wasteland. And two guys going at it here, guys, that will be part of that triple threat match this, this Wednesday. And yes, guys, it is a triple threat match. It's not a three way dance elimination. It will be a straight triple threat match this Wednesday. Yes, OJJ, member of the Fallen Wasteland. Taking on Loco Joe. Both men could be the World Heavyweight Champion. Coming out, the undisputed Heavyweight Champion of the World. Coming out of Wednesday's pay-per-view. We'll have to find out. I don't care who wins, to be honest with you. As, the bar, as a, pro, a boss and promoter, I don't care who wins. Just as long as Vota doesn't come out. If Plan A don't work, and which is Plan A, is this Wednesday that triple threat match. If Plan A don't work, I got Plan B. And if Plan B don't work, I know I definitely Aaron. know Plan C will work. So, yeah, definitely know Plan C will definitely work. <coughs> you know, I mean, he's already lot. I mean. He's already lost the, uh, what I call it, he's already lost the uh, streak. He just needs to lose the belts. So it's OJJ and... Local one on one. Let's double check. 
checking. Here we go, one on one. OJJ and Loco Joe. Two members of the triple threat match. This Wednesday. So it's a little preview of what will possibly in store. And there's the Raymaker, or the Loco Maker. Loco's version of the Raymaker. Loco now back and forth. Like I say, former World Heavyweight Champion taking on former Internet TV Champion. This should be a good one. Headbutt, no. Jawbreaker. Loco looking for the boot. No. Double stomp. Puts an end to that. Jumping double stomp by the former Internet Television Champion. Loco, there's the, the boot of doom. That's cool. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. That's the uh, the Ambrose tackle and punches. Running, uh, standing knee. Sorry, there's no running knee there. Nothing running there. I'm dragged by OJJ. Back and forth match. These two know each other very well. Yeah. Right hand drops. The whole heavyweight champion of the world. Loco now in control of the world champion, internet, former internet TV champion in his own right. Elbow there, bounces back, there's a rebound clothesline. Loco was not prepared for that. Loco feel the effect of a stunner. Oh, you will. That's a stunner. Loco, one, two, and only two can go in this match for the heavyweight champ. Well, in a preview of what will be in that triple threat match this Wednesday for the heavyweight championship of the world. Local looking to bring the world title to the fallen wasteland. The spiral tap misses. Local back in control. He needs to take advantage of it. Oh, the spinning Alabama bomb, I suppose you can call that. I know that movement though, because I know where um, Dalton Castleman uses it. Full Nelson suplex, full Nelson German suplex after a counter from the local effect. OJJ working the leg. Setting up nicely. Yes, OJJ with a chance to bring the World Heavyweight Championship to the fallen wasteland. There's that punt kick. Local back in control though. What is Loco going to do? Is he going to make him tap like he did Wade Walker last episode? Nope, there's that running boot. The running pump kick. Or the running blow kick. Two and no. Only a two count. I knew this would be a great match. No question about it, these two. Loco setting up. What you doing? Forearm. Forearm. There's the pump kick. Uh, the pump kick even, or the Pele kick as it's called, there you go. Look at that, great anchor pick from Loco. Works the leg of OJJ. Like I say guys, this Wednesday in the main event, it'll be a triple threat match. No elimination at all. Just a straight triple threat match. First one to win, get the pinfall all submission, will be the World Heavyweight Champion. And there's the Oh, great counter from the running pump kick there into a neck breaker. OJJ looking for a quick win. Two and only a two count. Knee to the back, fired up Loco. With this press. Grabbing the fists into OJJ. OJJ getting set up. There's the snap full Nelson suplex. One in bridge, but only in one, one, not even one count, I don't think. Loco, what's he doing? And the running pump kick. Oh, he's looking for that uh, blockbuster move. He didn't get it. Miscued it a little bit. OJJ with a power bar. That's a cover. One. Two, three, and that's a victory for OJJ. Grimzono, 11, welcome in. Loco with a losing effort here against OJJ, but there's Vota. 
Vot has got his eye on Loco. He's also got his eye on OJJ. What's Loco doing? These two can't stand one another. What the hell is going on here? What's going on here? Are we going to see a, a little, another little preview? Oh, we are. It's a ball. The ball's on the way. Loco, Vota, right ahead. There's the referees. This is personal between these two. And Vota's back in. The fight's on. The ball's in there. Brawl in the alleyway. Get in there. Ref, he's got ourselves a little preview. What's it going to be like on Wednesday? There, ladies and gentlemen. There we go. We're good. Right. Uh, yeah, next match. Holy moly. Right. It's war between... It's going to be a war this Sunday, that triple threat match. No question about it. It's going to be a war. Hope you guys are enjoying this. Now, Omega came out last episode looking for a match. Well, he's got one. He left an open challenge out. Well, I decided to give him Prince Jindrak. And now the last time Jindrak was in the, win, in the ring, in the, in the wing, in the ring even, I can't speak, he uh, ended the streak of Vodder with a little help from OJJ. So, yep, OJJ with the chance. It's a big main event this Wednesday, guys. Will OJJ bring the World Heavyweight Championship back to the Fallen Wasteland? Will Loco retain his belt? We'll get, we'll get his belt back. And don't forget, guys, whoever wins, it's an undisputed title, so basically they'll be the internet TV champion too. So we'll find out. We'll definitely find out this uh, Wednesday. And it's like I say, guys, it's not an elimination match. It's a triple threat match. Okay? Normal triple threat standards. First one to win, first one to get pinfall submission is the champion. He's Omega. Making Top his of this match to put the up ring. a shut up. From Green Bay, Wisconsin, weighing in at 205. Came pounds. out, left an open challenge. Omega. Omega wants himself, him some of this GMW action. He's got it. Can he derail that path of destruction that Prince Jindrak is looking to set? He's already done it once. He beat the Viking. He's beat and he's ended the streak, which will help him a great deal. He ended the streak of Vodka with a little help from OJJ, of course. And not OJJ, Loco. Loco jumping in from the start of the match. But hey, the plan was there. And Loco, well, Loco won the title, uh, Vota won the title from Loco, so Loco cost him this streak, so. <laughs> That's why it's personal, as you clearly saw with that brawl there. It's clearly personal between Vota and Loco Joe. I'm guessing OJJ is right in the middle of it. In the wrong place, wrong time, but he may be right place, right time this Wednesday. If he, if he picks up a victory, because he'll be the World Heavyweight Champion. And his opponent, from Riyadh, Saudi Arabia, weighing in at 442 pounds. Here he is, the monster. The Great Prince Jindrak. The Great Prince Jindrak. The path of destruction is upon us. This is what he was looking to set to do, and he's done. He's done it very well so far. Like I say, ending the streak of uh, Vodna. Which is basically a revenge for uh, Jindrak in, in respects as well, because since he went on that downward spiral losing the Internet TV Championship, he went down on the downward spiral, Vodna actually beat him in his second match. So, sweet, sweet revenge for the Prince. Ending the streak of Vodna. Capacity crowd here at the GMW Arena. Omega on the outside, waiting to get in. He's going to beat this monster. 
and see how tough this guy really is. So, we have got Omega, Prince Jindrak. Let's do it. Ring the bell. Here we go. Boot to the next section. Beautiful quickness there from Omega with a quick cover too. No, one count only. Shoulder tackle. Jindrak using that power. Kick to the gut. Ah. Leg drop there. Big thank you to everybody who's uh, hosted. Arm wrench. As well. Oh. Oh, cut there. Rocked Omega. Omega with a snap. Uh, Ginger with a snap there, I should say. Omega, the elbows. More elbows. Straight kick to the back. Misses. And there's the arm. As well. LCW as well guys, don't forget the pay-per-view, it's pay-per-view week in LCW this week, the pay-per-view is Monday and Friday, um, Asylum Monday, Underground on Friday, it's pay-per-view week in, G in LCW, just like it is in GMW as well, so be sure to check that out as well on twitch.tv forward slash local extra, also twitch.tv forward slash white 7 fan gaming for GXHBW as well so be sure to check that out also Omega trying to use that quickness but uh, power's in there but he's got an advantage at the moment Omega Omega now no problem Omega the, the most overused over OP oh my god move the suplex on the outside, and that hurts. Suplex right on the concrete, superplex. I should say, right on that concrete. Elbow, and the, the chop there, block. Yeah, I should start using that with chops as well. But anyway, kick in there as well. Uh, I want to let everybody know on Twitch um, and YouTube as well and the Games Matter YouTube channel and even the Wrestling Matters YouTube channel if you managed to see this as well and I'll be doing some short interviews very soon and um, I'm working in the pipelines with a promoter here in the, in the UK and a local promoter um, in my hometown he asked me yesterday when I went to the wrestling show to do a, if, I wanted, if I wanted to do some short interviews with famous wrestlers two mentions in mind were Rene Dupree, former WWE wrestler, and uh, Sabu. That's right, the uh, ECW legend. So, that could be in the pipelines, guys. That could be in the pipelines. And to be honest with you, I wouldn't mind doing it because anything can help me set back. Anything that can help me set back up the uh, podcast again. I mean, I mean, I, I, I want to get back to my podcast, but, you know, I want something to, you know, <laughs> slowly get me back into it, if you know what I mean. But, uh, yeah, JCW as well, yeah. Juggalo Championship Wrestling. Or the Juggalo Championship Wrestling, whatever it is. And, oh, oh, make the driver. That's actually one of my favourite moves on this game to use, actually. And could this be the end? Why is that referee running around in Did he just run around in circles there? Why is the referees are always retarded on this game? 2008, 2K18, now 2K19, what the fuck? Anyway. Yeah, so, yeah. Insane Clown Posse's uh, promotion. Omega. Oh, back to it. There's the cartwheel kick. Yeah. Omega's shown something. Ginger will fight you, though. And, oh, there's that Ginger Buster. The military press face buster. And I think that's his move as well. Cover. 
and Jin Jack beats Omega. The path of destruction continues. And you know what? With that being said, ladies and gentlemen, Bane is going to get his wish. Because if feel the heat, Bane is going to compete against Prince Jindrak one-on-one. -on -one. Why? Because I say so. Much deserved win indeed. Omega back to the drawing board for you, brother. Definitely back to the drawing board. Well, that's another match added to feel the heat. So, snooze you lose, big man, snooze you lose. Right, Rachel Adams has got a bit of an issue. This woman will compete for the Women's Championship this Wednesday at the pay-per-view in a Hell in a Cell match against Colleen Masters. But she has a bit of an issue with somebody, and I'm guessing it's Beverly Sexton. Because during the tag match last episode, Sexton lost the match. And I don't think uh, Miss Adams got tagged, tagged in once. So... There's beef there. We'll find out in a minute. So at the moment right now, there are five matches made for the pay-per-view. We've got the Gladiators taking on the Fallen Wasteland for the World Tag Team titles. The women's title in the Hell in the Cell match will be Colin Masters and Rachel Adams. Vota defends the World Heavyweight Championship against Loco Joe and OJJ. Me versus Jimmy Havoc in a tables match. And what the hell Jimmy Havoc's playing that, I don't know. And Bane one on one with Prince Jindrak. Maybe, like I said, the only the only thing I can suggest with the Jimmy Havoc getting involved earlier on tonight against Pennywise and me. Maybe he came out, but maybe he wants me one hundred percent for for Wednesday. I don't know. So anyway, I never know what Jimmy, Jimmy Havoc's thinking these days. But he's Rachel Adams, leader of the undisputed era. Let's see what she has to say. Do this. Uh, there's a superstar in the back who I've always respected and in fact even considered somewhat of an idol to me. She's an amazing athlete and never backs down from a challenge. Okay. There is beef there. I mean, I don't know if, uh, I don't know what Rachel Adams is playing at here. I guess we'll find out. Still to come, ladies and gentlemen, here on this episode of GMW, the main event, what a one on one with Judy Havoc. Six man tag, which is coming up next, in fact. Six man tag, Gladiators and Jade take on Fallen Wasteland and Bane. Colleen Masters one on one with Sharon Storm, which I, I believe will be an epic match. And First Blood, which sees Henry the Viking and Jack Hammer, the winner gets Hannibal at the pay per view. Well, right here, I believe we have a bit of unfinished business, so what a place to start in front of the GMW Mafia. Okay. Well, so much for the respect that Rachel was showing before they came out, before Beverly came out here.
This is GMW. At least you get a couple of blows, because... I don't know, Rachel Adams was respecting it for a minute ago, and it seems to be down the toilet. I thought Rachel Adams would have came out of you being pissed off. I mean, she was more calm than I thought. may very well be her ring if she wins the women's title on Wednesday. It very well, very well be her ring. I'll tell you what, let's see what happens then. Okay, let's see what happens. Let's get a match with you. You don't have to say it. You don't have to tell me twice. How about we do this then? Obviously, Rachel Adams is going to be competing one on one with Cody Masters for the women's title. Depending on the outcome, how about we book this for next Friday? Beverly Sexton one on one with Rachel Adams. Granted, she's still in one piece, of course. I'm down for that. Beverly Sexton one on one with Rachel Adams next Friday. Yeah. Yeah. Interesting turn of events between these two. I'll we'll find out how good they are next Friday when they go one on one. And Rachel Adams has got other things to fry. Another fish to fry first before Beverly. She may very well be the women's champion going into next Friday's episode. Or Friday's episode, so... We'll see what happens. Anyway, six-man tag, ladies and gentlemen, coming up. This is one the fans been waiting for. Gladiators, the GMW World Tag Team Champions, will team up with J.I. Dare, and they will take on Bane and members of the Fallen Wasteland, Sinister Winters and Fang. So, six-man tag, guys. A little preview of what's to take place this Sunday, or this Wednesday, rather, out of the, in respects of the Gladiators and the Fallen Wasteland, because the Gladiators will defend them World Tag Team Championships this Wednesday at the Feel the Heat pay-per-view against the Fallen Wasteland. Will the Fallen Wasteland become World Tag Team Champions and World Heavyweight Champion? Will they bring the World Tag Team titles and the World title back to their stable? I guess we'll find out. Find out Wednesday, I suppose. Flipping heck with this loading screen, man.
when you let it to go out. God's sakes, man, hurry up. Here we go. Got there in the end. Right, six man tag time. Here we go. World Tag Team Championship. World Tag Team Champions, Gladiators Team, it was yeah, there. Against the Fallen Wasteland and Bane. Here they come, the World Tag Team Champs. The guys who ended the reign of Alpha and Omega. Viking 1, Viking 2, the Gladiators. Introducing first, at a combined weight of 624 pounds, the Tag Team Champions, the Viking and the Viking, the Gladiators. The Gladiators, the World Tag Team Champions, will they be after Feel the Heat? And here comes their partner. Yeah, dear. From Kansas City, Missouri, weighing in at 290 pounds, J.A. Dean. The guy who won the Opportunity Battle Royal, but uh, unfortunately hasn't quite made the name, hasn't quite made the name for himself. Um, since winning that battle royal. And here come the Wasteland, number one contenders for the World Tag Team Championships. Here come the number one contenders now. And their opponents, first. At a combined weight of 484 pounds, the White Wolf and Sinister Razor Winters, the Fallen. 
We'll be look are we looking at the next World Tag Team Champions? The Sinister One's fired up. These two obviously want to make a statement before the pay-per-view. Here comes Bane, their tag team partner. And their partner from parts unknown, weighing in the guy as of now who will be facing. Pounds. Pain. We'll go one on one with uh, Prince Jindrak this Wednesday, Wednesday at the pay per view. to be a champion in GMW. I guess that run will start this Wednesday, this Wednesday at the pay-per-view if he dethrones and stops that path of destruction from Prince Jindrak. But that's then, this is now. Six-man tag, Fallen Wasteland and Bane take on the tag champs and Jair Dare. Fang in the ring, kicking off this tag match, six-man tag match. Gladiators. And the jawbreaker there. Viking one in the ring. Rick Connor. And a heart slam. Kick to the group. So oh my god with kick. Tag made, double team coming up. There's the crossbody. Sinister Winter's in there now with Viking 1. The Viking looking to bring the Win Sinister back into their corner. Here comes Jair Dare. Jair Dare going up. Military slam. Beautifully done. Winter's though will fight you. He's a hard nut to crack. Winter's. Winter's is back in there again. Adair fighting back, Dragon Sleeper. More version of the Dragon Sleeper. Jay Adair fighting back. The guy's proven himself in this match so far. Well, great counter from Winter. Russian leg sweep. Or the fallen leg sweep. There you go. JDA back in the corner, splashes in the corner. Bang back in. Been all fallen wasteland so far. Back fists and an elbow, two back fists and an elbow there. And an elbow there, Carnet. Go to the midsection by JDA. What's he going to do? That's running power, power bar. Oh boy. Triple power bomb. Super triple power bomb. This will work for the gladiators to soften up the fallen wasteland. And super triple power bomb. Why that happens, I don't know. But anyway, 
And Bane comes in and takes on the referee. And a miscue there. Bane, belly the backside suplex. Viking 2 in there. Boy, did he just knock out Fang there with that shot. Fang no will fight back. Left hand soft part. And Fang gets tossed away like a ragdoll with that forearm attempt there. Viking 2, drawbreaker by Fang. Running DDT by Fang. Fang setting up. Viking 2, Bane back on the apron. Fall in there. This is the fallen wasteland. He hits it. The bitter wasteland. There you go. It'll come back to me eventually. Cover. Only a two count. The wasteland are in full effect here. That the double team coming up. So up to a hold by Fang and an elbow to the back. That's since the winners. Winners now working on Viking 2. Or is that Viking 1? It's Viking 1, excuse me. Oh, that. Very unique uh, cover clutch slam there. And JJ back in there. Oh, and a, a Uranagi STO, I suppose. And now it's for the Fallen Bomb. The Triple Wasteland. They got the prospect where they want it. Anything they, anything Gladiators in a day can do, the Wasteland and Bane can do better. Super Triple Pole Bar. Oh, no. Not a bad attempt, though. Gladiator 2 gets thrown to the outside by Fang. And here comes Bane. Bane gets tagged in. See what this guy can do. Short arm, short attack will count a little from Jadet. And it's sort of like a downward spiral move there. The dead with the arm. Stamps on that arm, that's not very that's one way to break an arm, I suppose. Elbow rocks Bane, and then knee straight to the face. Shot by Bane. Bane with a Bane breaker. A sidewalk Bane style. Harris whip into the corner. Elbow there, great elbow. Short drab, boots the midsection. Is he going for that power bomb again? Yes, the running power bar. And there you go. God, he's, he comes another triple bar, power bar. This time to Bane. Super triple power bar. I guess you can call this the triple Bane bar. Drops it. Will be able to get the cover? Cover. And fat and uh, Winters breaks that up, excuse me. And he takes a back break through his trouble. Viking two in there now. Sean, I'm sure the tackle counter though from Bane. Bane now walks across the tag team champion. But there's nothing. Kick to the back. Adair with Winters on the outside, I believe that is. Bang on the apron. Bane work of the armor Viking 2. Bane breaker. No, great counter from Viking 2. Running close line takes off the head of Bane. Viking 2 setting up Bane. What's he going to do? The Viking bar. The last ride version of it. Cover. And Fang breaks that up. He receives a boot to his face as well. Adair now in there. Fang. He gets just thrown to the outside, tossed to the outside. Adair clean house for a part of his team. Yo, what up, Loco? Bane 
in there. Here comes uh, the Fay. No, it's Winters. Winters now front face lock on Viking 2. Remember the Gladiators defend the tag belts at the pay-per-view this Wednesday. We go for t bone there, but great kind of head and arm hip toss. I think you say that is. Bang. Winters now. Bang would have been pleased with that. But I must carry takedown counter though. Time to keep up. Super Viking bomb coming up. Triple Viking bomb if even. There we go, he hits it. One, two, and great counter. A good, great kick out there from Winters there. Great credit for him for kicking out, otherwise that would have been over. Good work by Viking 1 to stop Bane from breaking up that count. STO takedown. Going for Sinister Abigail. And he hits it. Sinister Abigail. Brings him back into the ring, maybe. Nope, does not. Brings him away from the ropes. There you go. Did it eventually. And there's the cover. Viking 2, trying to bring him back into the, into the falling wasteland Bane corner, if you will. This is a six-man tag, guys. All preview for the pay-per-view Wednesday. And puts him in the corner. We're going to see a double team. We are. Falling wasteland double team. Boots in the midsection by Fang. Viking 2 will gets back with Fang right into the corner. Here comes Jair Dare, the youngster. And it's the Buddha Doom. You can see the Gladiators, the tag team champions, and uh, Jay Day have worked well. Fang looking to stretch the dare, maybe make him tap. Oh, what a great counter from uh, there to get out of that. Into the midsection by, Fa by Dale Fang. A little bit rocky there, but there's the spin heel kick. Yo, what up, Luke? Welcome to the to the stream. Obviously, welcome to the team there. But anyway, I'm so tired. Fang now brings him away. Can he get the cover? Viking one breaks that up. Winters. Goes for an attack on Viking, but Viking countered that. Adair back in the fallen wasteland corner. Slingshot crossbody, flying crossbody coming up there. Winters back, back in. Looking for the hard tag. Viking 2 comes in. Running boot almost. There, there's the cover crotch. Face buster, sleeping, sleeping neck breaker version of the Cobra Clutch Bomb. And a spear by Winters. Could this be it? Cover. Can Bane make the quick game though? Making one breaks that up. And Winters has beaten the hell out of Viking one. He got powered. Bane back in. Back outside rather. Viking two. With an advantage on of Winters. Double accent to the back. Looking for the last ride Viking bar. Going up. Boom. If they hit that, if they hit that on Sunday, it'll be it'll be the end. Smart move by Viking 2. One, two, three. Gladiators and Jed win it.
A little bit of momentum there for the World Tag Team Champions going into their tag match this Wednesday. Well, they, they got the victory, Gladiators, but will they need to be able to do it where it counts, which is this Wednesday? Will they be able to retain the World Tag Team Championships? There's the bitter wasteland. So there you have it. Gladiators with the six man tag. Gladiators and Jay Dare. But like I said, will the Gladiators be able to do that where it counts? And where it counts is this Wednesday for the tag team titles. You can only see. Right, next match, I believe, is the first blood match. Yep, first blood match. Anything goes, fresh want to bleed, wins. And it's going to be Jack Hammer and Henry the Viking. Like I said, fresh want to bleed, wins. And the winner of this will get Hannibal for the hardcore title this Wednesday. Still to come on this episode of GMW. We've got this match coming up now. We've got Coley Masters one-on-one -on -one with Sharon Storm. And Jimmy Havoc one-on-one -on -one with Vota. If you've just tuned in, ladies and gentlemen, I managed to pick up a victory over Pennywise with a little help from Jimmy Havoc. What is he playing at? I don't know. Like I say, maybe the only the only thing I can think of in that respect is the fact that he wants me for one in for, he wants me in one piece for this Sun for this Wednesday rather for the tables match that we've got. It's me and Jimmy in a tables match. If you have a PS4, this is PS4 by the way guys, and if you want to be a part of GMW and you have WWE 2K19 on PS4, create your character, upload it to community creations, the use the hashtag GMW. Anyway, Henry the Viking. Henry. Good. Is my PSN. My PSN is in the chat, ladies and gentlemen. If anybody wants to add me on PS4 and maybe play me on this one day. And yes, guys, tips are necessary. Are not necessary to my PayPal there. If you like what you see and whatever, but you don't have to do it. I'm not forcing you to do it. It's not a demanding thing, but it's entirely up to you. Do it at your own curse. Do it at your own call, if you will, and uh, be very careful doing it. From the and there is no refunds. So think about doing it before you do it. That's all I'm saying. Jack Hammer. Jack Hammer. Like I said, this is a first blood match. The winner gets Hannibal for the hardcore title. At the pay-per-view this Wednesday. 
feel the heat January 23rd One on one, Henry the Viking, Hannibal, uh, Jack Hammer rather, winner gets Hannibal at the pay per view for the hardcore title. And yes, ladies and gentlemen, it is a first blood match. Oh, go behind. No, great counter from uh, Henry the Viking. Oh, needs the gut area. Counters for counters. Right hand rocks. Henry the Viking and a shoulder tackle. Another right hand. Jack Hammer has the big man. Both big men are here. I just hope and pray that the ring doesn't break. Oh, that elbow there. Great counter. It's like a double leg takedown from Henry the Viking. Both men on the outside. Great drop kick move there. Rocks. Henry the Viking. Another shot there, but. Viking fights back. He has Jackhammer. Shut that was. Right hand. Elbow. Jackhammer in a lot of trouble. to the gut running super kick there from Viking and Jack Emmett goes for a choke slam and hits the choke slam on Jack Hammer but remember guys this is first blood no pinfalls no submissions no nothing that's what the bleed wins for arm on Viking the black takedown by the Viking backdrop Carter Jack Hammer now, right hand, reverse choke slam coming up. Reverse choke slam indeed. Jack Hammer now, setting up. Is he going for that clothesline? Oh, he is. And boy, did he ever hit him. He needs to work a cut up. Like I said, this is first blood. How about busting somebody open or making someone bleed? Jackhammer on the apron. Viking now. Brings Jackhammer back in the hard way. Boot to the midsection. Or boot to the gut area, I should say. The power. Just deadlifted him up there. Military press slam. And just drops him. I mean, the Vikings are free. Oh, dragon screw there by Jackhammer. Right hand, no, well, left hand, no, headbutt, yes. Right, no. Jack Hammer back in. A mistake on uh, Michael's part there. Don't toy with Jack Hammer. Right hand and the shoulder tackle takes him down. Boot to the midsection, great counter. And spinning round, discus clothesline ish move there. It's a clothesline nonetheless. Headbutt. Who's going to bust open? Who's going to be the first one to bleed? Henry the Viking. Double AA coming up. Henry the Viking style. Double AA. Am I that? There's the head. And there's the uh, two double AAs there. Close line. And the close line. Irish whip in the corner. There's the running back bump there, and then a running tackle or running cross body, I should say, from the coming the Viking. Another choke slam attempt. Jack Hammer in trouble. Like I say, guys, it's all about making your opponent bleed. 
No, great counter from Jack Hammer. And he hits his own running power slam. Beautiful counter from Jack Hammer. Oh. And here's the move. Apropos name. Jack Hammer. There was no pinfalls. You can say it's all about making your opponent bleed. Covers him. Now will Jack Hammer go for a weapon? He needs to go for something to bust open. He needs to use something to bust open there. Uh, beautiful move. Hits him with the bat. Jack Hammer now. Oh, the shoulder tackle there by Viking. Up 600 pounds there. He's receiving that from the. There's another deadlift. Deadlift going up. Military press. And he hit that, yep. Dropped him right in the bat. That hurts. Back drop Carter. Jack Cam a discus close line. We need to look for something. We need to do something to make somebody. Yeah. Look at the slam there, that might, might work. I don't think the head's been worked on that much yet. Close line. Grace Pepper, welcome in. Welcome to the stream, welcome to GMW episode 18, live stream. Jack Hammer. Yes, I am. Actually, I am actually excited for the World Rumble next Sunday. Not a clue who's going to win it, like, but I have two guy. I have two in mind who might win it. Beautiful close line there from Jack. From Jack Hammer. Oh, this is close line again. Sean out close line again. Who is going to bleed? Boy Carter, reverse DDT. Go to the midsection. Jack Hammer looking to bust open Viking. And no. Slams him right in the canvas. Face first. Well, I'm telling you that hurts. And then Jack Hammer walks over. Walks over the Viking like he's nothing real. That's set. Low hold move there. Boot to the midsection. Elbow to the back. Knee to the. Got there. Well, knee to work. Standing knee lift, I should say. Another choke slam coming up. From the Viking. Choke slam. Oh. Cross leg. Oh, that, that hurts. I've never seen that before. Military press, picking up like if he's a weight. Unbelievable power there from the Viking, right? It's a face first caught at the edge of that uh, baseball bat there that's in the ring. The close line sends the Viking to the outside from the jackhammer. Oh, boot to the midsection. DDT and jackhammer. Gets that title shot. So for the hardcore title. It'll be Jack Hammer one more time versus Hannibal. Great win for the Jackhammer. Here is your winner, the monster, Jack. He is Hammer. a monster, let me tell you. Jackhammer gets that victory. Will he get it this Sunday against Hannibal? 
for the hardcore title. Ah, yes. The women's champion in action. This may very well be a clinic, ladies and gentlemen. A wrestling clinic is on the horizon. Because Sharon Storm, former women's champion in her own right, may very well earn herself a title shot if she beats Colleen in this upcoming match. Right, one-on-one, -on -one. co-main event, ladies and gentlemen. Colleen Masters, one-on-one -on -one with Sharon Storm. And here comes the women's world champion now. Making her way to the ring from London, England. Oh, wait a minute. The women's. That's, that's Rachel Adams. Rachel Adams, the, ma the woman who Colleen will meet this Sunday, or this Wednesday rather, in the Hell in the Cell match. She attacks. This is unbelievable. She attacks Colleen before her match with Sharon Stone. What's going on here? We're free trying to wave it off, but. Rachel Adams is having over. Rachel Adams wants to make a statement against her adversary for the world title this Sunday. And remember, guys, this match is going to be in Hell in the Cell. What a kick. Great counter, though. Roll through. Oh, beautiful drop toe hold. Why is Rachel Adams out here? I mean, she was pissed off at Beverly Sexton earlier on tonight. And next, next, next Friday, ladies and gentlemen, this Friday, not Wednesday, but Friday, it'll be Beverly Sexton one on one with Rachel Adams. And Rachel Adams may very well be women's champion by then. Drop kick. Well, that's put an end to that, hasn't it? Colleen Masters, one on one with Sarah Storm, will have to wait another day. Oh, well. It was a no contest. I don't know why it says lost there for because it was an old contest. But anyway, main event time, I guess, then. Jimmy Havoc, Vota, the undisputed heavyweight champion of the world, in an Extreme Rules match. At Loco, if you're in the stream, you might want to go back and watch your match against OJJ earlier on. Because things are, because things are definitely not that they were, not that they weren't to begin with, but things are personal between you and uh, between you and uh, Vodder. No question about that.
Jimmy Havoc. I know what this guy's playing at. This guy interfered in my match earlier on with Pennywise. Which I won, by the way. But he helped me. Maybe he wants, like I said, the only thing I can suggest out of that is he wants Making me in one piece for, some, for Wednesday. From I don't London, know. England, or he wants there to be no excuses, which I'm fine with that. Pounds, the hardcore icon, A very Jimmy. weird, weird, weird guy. I guess he is keeping me fresh. Yes, he is keeping me fresh for Wednesday. I might have a special match in mind for Feel the Heat this Wednesday as well. Uh, let's see what I've got here. One, two, three, four, five, six. We'll see what we'll see what happens at the end of this match. Here we go. Here comes the world champ. Have it ready to go. Undisputed world heavyweight champion. The world heavyweight champion. Voda champion. For fuck's sake, Jojo. You know what? I'm gonna have to figure out how to make Jojo a playable character. Because apparently you can on on 2K19. Because she wants her ass kicked. I'll tell you right now. Maybe I can make her a playable character in GMW. I have to look into that. Champion of the world. So we've got Jimmy Havoc, Voda. one on one but uh, with his power of course picking up Jimmy Havoc I never think I'd be cheering for Voter in this match but anyway because I can't honestly I can't stand both of them Havoc forearm there but uh, I'm sure to tackle this is your main event of episode 18 episode 19 rather of GMW Havoc was going for a hurricane rana there. Did not get that. Great close line. And yes, yours truly is here. And I'm attacking what the I'm attacking Vodder. Oh GT! Oh there's the good sleep! Or the good night bitch or the good night or the good night sweet prince as I call it. Wand Two and only a two count. Well, you know, even the playing field, I suppose. Havoc did it earlier on tonight with Pennywise, I'm doing it with Vodder, see? But nobody's, there'll be no helping out anyone this men's day when me and Havoc go one on one in the tables match.
Beautiful guy, Havoc. And Vota, we all know what Vota's involved in this Wednesday. Triple threat match for the undisputed championship. And yes, ladies and gentlemen, it is a triple threat match. The Havoc Destroyer. Brings Havoc back in the hard way and goes for a quick cover. One and we'll walk out there. But uh, and up. Military press spine buster. Working the leg of Havoc. Going on the out of well, Vota looking to put away Havoc, but Havoc beats Vota to it. With... Oh, he's doing his version of Jim John Cena, Death Valley Driver. There's another one. Will Havoc put away Vota? Can Havoc put away Vota? Havoc going on the outside. This is a hardcore match, by the way, guys. So anything goes. All things are legal. Oh, just there. And then, sort of like a downward spiral move there by Vota onto the chair. Into the midsection. Here comes that package pile driver that Vota likes. But Vota's not getting it. Wake Khan from Havoc. Into a Hulk and Rana. Is he going to pick that chair? Is he going to use that chair? No, he's not. He doesn't plan on using that chair. What's he going to do there? There's the... And here comes the Raymaker. He hits it. That's what he used on Pennywise earlier on tonight. Vota, one, two. And Vota kicks out. That's Havoc's uh, favourite move. The Raymaker. Maybe he wants to use that chair after all, does Havoc. There's Havoc going. Who knows what Havoc's going to what shot that was. And a right hand knocks Havoc right in the crowd. Both men on the outside. Boots cannon. Great close line. Andre take down. Oh, the shot there right on the announce table. And hit first bounces right off the announce table. And the elbow, average there, but an elbow counter, another elbow, and a left hand, and a right hand, and a right hand, and another cut. Fault is thrown bombs, can't, throw, can't fault that. Military press, spine buster, he hits it. Cover, get over there, ref. One, two. Oh, boot to the midsection. Is it going to be a package power driver right on? Uh-oh. Oh, and can't we? Surely that's a wrap. Surely that's it. One, two, three. How close can you get? Is he going to go for another one? No, he's not. Goes for a body slam. Counters. Have it with the reverse DDT. Right hand, no. Raymaker coming up. Yeah. That's a quick. That's the Raymaker one. That's the second Raymaker two and three. Half it beats Vota. There's me interfering in the match with the GTS, the Good Night Bitch, as it's known in LCW, but I call it the Good Night Sweet Prince. Although that wouldn't be very fair to say that for uh, Vota because there's one thing Vota is not and that is a prince. There's the uh, package power driver on the outside on concrete, I might add. We've only got a two count.
but Havoc got the victory with the Rainmaker on the outside and gets a pinfall victory. So that's two losses in what is column, if you will. Jimmy Havoc with a huge, huge win. Would he be able to do that against me this Wednesday? GMW. Right, let's go back and do a quick recap. Obviously, that match was no contest. I don't know why it says lost there against Colin Masters, but it's a no contest anyway. But we'll go back to this. Earlier on tonight, Pennywise and me went one-on-one. -on -one. And yes, as you heard earlier on, Havoc got involved and helped me a little bit. Like, all I can think of that is, is what uh, Fang said in the chat there. He's keeping me fresh, just like I did with him earlier, as you just saw there. When I beat him, when I helped him beat Vota, can't speak. Bane wanted to make an impact and he got his opportunity and he, say, and he says he wants a fight. He wants to be a champion. Well, he's going to have a test this Sunday, this Wednesday rather, because it's him and Prince Jindrak, one-on-one. -on -one. OJJ beats local Joe. But the thing with him and Vota is very, very personal. Very personal. And if you don't believe me, go back and watch the match. The brawl at the end between Vota and Loco Joe. I think it's safe to say this match, this triple threat match this Sunday, this Wednesday. I keep saying Sunday for because it's pay-per-view Sunday. But it's pay-per-view Wednesday. This triple threat match between these three, I think OJJ is probably the odd one out, quite frankly. The wild card. Prince Jindrak beats Omega, puts him back in his place, back to the drawing board for Omega, I guess. And yes, Prince Jindrak will be Bane this Wednesday. Beverly Sexton and Rachel Adams got into a little confrontation, and uh, Beverly Sexton obviously put Rachel Adams in her place. But next Friday, it'll be Beverly Sexton one-on-one -on -one with Rachel Adams. Could very well be, could, could we see Rachel Adams as the undisputed women's champion? Gladiators and Jay Dare beat White Fang, Sinister Winters and Bane. All build into the World Tag Team Championship match this Wednesday involving the Gladiators and the Fallen Wasteland. Yes, Jack Hammer busts open Henry the Viking and he gets Hannibal this Wednesday for the hardcore title. Like I say, Colin Masters and Sharon Stone was no contest because Rachel Adams jumped Colin Masters from the start of the match. And, yep. Jimmy Havoc, one-on-one -on -one with Vota, and Jimmy Havoc gets the victory with a little help from yours, truly, of course. But that's the second loss in his resume for Vota. Will that be the case this Sunday? Triple threat match, Vota, Loco Joe, OJJ, this Wednesday. If I said Sunday, I apologise. I keep saying Sunday. It's Wednesday, January 23rd. You cannot miss it, guys cannot miss it i have got one more match to make for the for the pay-per-view i'm going to make that now but let me first read what's in store for this wednesday gladiators take on fallen wasteland for the world tag team titles gmw women's title on the line rachel adams meets colleen masters inside hell in the cell triple threat match and yes ladies and gentlemen it is a triple threat match it's not an elimination match it is a triple threat match it is Vota versus Loco Joe versus OJJ. Whoever wins, picks up the pinfall submission, will be the champion, the undisputed champion of GMW. Bane one-on-one -on -one with Prince Jindrak. Yours truly one-on-one -on -one with Jimmy Havoc in a tables match. I'm going to do to him just like I did to Wade Walker when I lawn darted him through the table. And Jack Hammer gets Hannibal one more time for the Hardcore Championship. Also, I'm going to make a 10-man Royal Rumble for the first time ever. A 10-man Royal Rumble. And yes, ladies and gentlemen, it will probably be in the Royal Rumble arena. But it's all part of Feel the Heat this Wednesday. The 10-man Royal Rumble. 10 of the best superstars in GMW. And I'm going to book it. And whoever wins will get a championship match down the road. 
It's all about big opportunities. Who's going to step up? Who's going to make a name for themselves in GMW? So that's a 10-man Royal Rumble as part of the Feel the Heat pay-per-view. And all of that will take place this Wednesday, January 23rd. Can the Fallen Wasteland become World Tag Team Champions? More importantly, can OJJ bring the World Heavyweight Championship to the Fallen Wasteland? Well, can only find out Wednesday. What's in store for Colleen Masters? Will we find out? Will Rachel Adams stick it to Colleen and become the World Heavyweight Women's Champion? Can Jindrak still continue his path of destruction? Will Jack Hammer become Hardcore Champion again? Who will win the 10-man battle royal and get the biggest opportunity of a lifetime in GMW? All takes place this Wednesday. You cannot miss it. My name is Anthony Walker. This is GMW. Vota is on borrowed time, but will he be World Heavyweight Champion going into Friday's episode? Episode 21 is this Friday. Who will be the World Heavyweight Champion? Tune in to find out. GMW, feel the heat this Wednesday, January 23rd. My name is Anthony Walker. I am out. You guys have been awesome. Big thank you to everybody who stepped in. This will be on the YouTube channel. You do not want to miss it. Again, and you do want to not want to miss the pay-per-view this Wednesday. I am done. Thank you and good night.